everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. American Hockey League action is on the docket tonight. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Islanders win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Battle along the boards. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Shaw. Here's a chance! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. To the low slot! Oh, Huck knocked loose after that hit. Can't keep a hold of it. They are really buzzing here on the offensive end. Huck picked up. Over the half wall. Oh, big hit on the play. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Down the left wing. They gain the zone. Fires it. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, save. Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. And he slides it quickly to Sevigny. The Islanders gain the zone. James, when you're in the funnel and you've got that great scoring chance, you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Handles the pass. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Toronto's got possession at center. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Bridgeport's looking to break out of their own end. Skerritt's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Bridgeport's got the puck here in the open ice. Slick feed. Back to the blue line. Takes it to the front. A oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a stick save! Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. The Marlies take possession here in the open ice. And that's knocked away by Gambrell. Toronto's got possession here in the offensive zone. Scrum along the wall. Picks off the pass. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Gives some nothing in front. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Sends it over. The Marlies gain possession. Carries it across the line. Sends it in front. Takes a shot. Grabbed along the boards by Ellis. Oh, my goodness. It stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James the will to get to that puck that was on display we haven't even hit the midway mark of the period the game is still scoreless Bridgeport's won the face off deep in their own end across the line from center and he uses his reach to disrupt the play quick pass over to Ferris. And it's a quick pass to McLean. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Marlies gain control of the puck. Miller's moving the puck through his own zone. Stretch pass. Solid check to slow him down. Takes the puck behind his own cage. And now he passes up to Coleman. The Marlies gain possession in their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Toronto's got the puck in the corner. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. The Islanders have it now. Moves it quickly over to Chalowski. Looking to set up offensively. Sends the pass over. Wide to the net, he missed. Oh, man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Quick shot! Pass saved by Skerritt! 
from point blank and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. And because of it, they rush the shot. And I think that happened right there. They gain the zone from the left side. And that's poked away by Blandizi. The Marlies have it now. Who's the puck? Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. There's a shot, and that one stopped. The Islanders move it in. Shot! Oh, my God! Scores! As he taps it in on a second effort. Well, I just love this play, James. I mean, you take the initial shot, but you follow it up, and you still have the eyes to find the puck and put it on your stick, and then bury your chance. That's a great play all the way around. I really like the effort on this goal, James. He gets the initial shot off, but then he continues towards the net, gets it behind the defenders who can't catch up to the rebound, and he puts it in. The Islanders are on the board here, and they have the game's first goal in the back half of period number one. Well, you can really see that they bought into what the coach said pregame, James, about being patient, trying to capitalize on their opportunities, and they do it late in the opening frame. And he takes the dish. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. Bridgeport's got it in their own zone. Strong defensive effort. And he takes the feed. He says, let's get physical on that play. Goes to the sweet spot. Oh, and he makes a save. Just got enough to keep it out. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The Marlies need to find a way to answer back here in this first period. And they'll start with possession. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Gains the zone from the right side. Shot! Misses over the net! Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Shaw's got it against the boards. And he can't hang on after that hit. Shot, and he had an answer with that save. Here's a shot. Oh, there's one more. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. They lost. Defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Salo's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. Scooped up along the wall by Durando. Taken by Koivula. Bridgeport's got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Koivula. Slides the puck across to Salo. Into the offensive end now. All alone! Scores! Talk about scoring on the finish with that one! He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, James. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time. A golden one it is. And he cashes in. Bridgeport's on a mission tonight. Boy, did they look dialed in. They look dialed in, and they look fast. There's so much motion. Everyone is moving, and when they're moving, they're disrupting coverage and giving themselves lots of looks at the net. And they've been rewarded with a couple goals. Here's a shot. Denies him with a pad. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Now a quick pass to Kubiak. Hutton's taking it from his own end. Bridgeport's on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Kubiak. And a strong effort on that play. Handles the puck. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Look out, here they come on the attack. Stars! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent.
The Marlies still have time to get back into it here in this first period. They've had the opportunities, just can't score. Toronto's won the faceoff at center. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Oh, a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about completing, finding a way to get to the puck. And there's a whistle as he slows things down to cover up, and this place is blowing up. Uh, I can't believe the save that they just witnessed either, James, and they're all on their feet getting the standing ovation and appreciation. Slavin's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denies him with the save. Bridgeport's got the puck. Takes the feed. Bridgeport's got the puck against the half wall. chances here in the first, and yet they still find themselves trailing late in the opening frame. Slavens won the draw at center. Receives the pass. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Dumps it in. The Marlies gain control of the puck against the wall. Scrum along the boards. Great pressure on the offensive end by Kuhlman. Here's a chance, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Kavalin's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Here in the late going to the frame, the Islanders have added to their lead. They're now up by four. Hart Rose won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. From the slot, oh, he gets a piece of it with the goal. The centerman glide into position. Bridge points gonna start with the it's in the back of the net. He scores. This is a prime time example of why you work on faceoff so often in practice. Because when you start with possession, you get scoring chances. And when you get scoring chances, this is exactly what happens. You put it in. Zone. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Sends a pass over. Bartrow's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And he slides it quickly to Hutton. And the save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Marlies would love to even things up before the end of this period as they trail despite being the busier team in the shots department. Gambrell's won the draw here in the defensive zone. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Late goings of this period. Bridgeport's clipping on all cylinders tonight. They've added to the lead, and this is a total rout. Here's a short pass to Ledoux. Takes the puck. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. The Marlies win it in the defensive zone. From the left side, takes the pass. Turns in front. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Picked up along the wall by Ledoux. Poked away in the neutral zone. The Marlies pick up Steven around the attack. The Islanders look to 
start the transition game. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Moves into the slot. Scores! Deuces well. That's, that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two challenges on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's on a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it. He's hunted it. And guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. Man, does he ever pull this deep off with conviction? I mean, confidence in Sweater. He knew what he was going to do. Goaltender didn't, and he fills the net. Bridgeport's had a yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. And he had the answer on that play. Taken along the wall by Pino. The Islanders played along the wing. The Marlies take over on possession. And that's a great hits up play in the offensive zone. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Moves inside! Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, and he's Somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Moves it to Sevigny. Poked away in the neutral zone by Lejoie. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. Skerrick's going to hang on for a whistle. The Marlies continue to trail early in the second period despite leading in the shot department. The Islanders come up with a defensive zone draw. Carries the puck up through center. Salo's got it in the offensive zone. Toronto's got the puck behind the net. Knocked away by Koipula. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. James, I mean, they took their starter out. They brought him in in relief. And unfortunately, just not getting the job done as that one goes by. You know who else is not getting the job done? The team in front of them. The Islanders look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice. And then they're executing on their opportunities. It's the reason why they hold the lead. Oh, and he misses on a great right exactly where he wants to be he's got the puck on his stick just unable to put it in the mesh dismiss that chance phil has got it in the defensive end takes the pass on the left wing quick pass to steves here he is wrestled on that made the stop on that play this is a fantastic save james he's all over it what i mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving a reason why he can get square to it and make the save and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Miller. Shuts him down. Center and feed. Another pass. He scores! What a play! This is a really smart shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen. And the goalie drops to the butterfly position really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Marlies finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been out-battled, they've been out-scored, and they've just been out-played this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. Quick feed 
to Kubiak. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. Slides the puck across to Shaw. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Bridgeport's got it in their own zone. Musa quickly over to Fritz. Denies it in front. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. The Marlies trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. Off the draw, they take possession. The Marlies move the puck in the defensive zone. Toronto's on the attack. Oh, he's got a piece of it to keep it out. Skerritt's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Shot! Oh, what a stop with the pad! The score! Right on the doorstep! The rebound there to be had! And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Toronto's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. Takes it across the blue line. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Good hit on the play. Here's a short pass to Pino. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Pino. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Oh, and another quick stop. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Picked up along the boards by Bartro. Chance in front! Oh, what a finish on the play! Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. Bridgeport's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here in period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Looking to make something happen along the boards. A great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Tries to get it to Kembrell. And it's a quick pass to Steves. Toronto's got to find a way to stop chasing the game, and the first thing they can do is start attacking and hounding the puck. You have to have it if you want to find a way to put it in. The Islanders are in transition. The Marlies have it from their own end. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a chance! Misses over the net! Real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot, and right now it's just a heavy one that misses wide. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Toronto's trailing at the midway mark of this one, but it's not for a lack of scoring chances. All sorts of shots, just no finish. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Toronto's got possession at center. Moves it to Ferris. Sevigny is feeling that and someone's going to the box. Let's see what the official says here down by a bunch of goals and then you get running around with frustration and out of control and that's the reason why you took a penalty. The Islanders will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone center right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Shaw's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the draw on their own end. And that's deflected. From in close. Big time.
time saved by Petrosilli. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Bridgeport's got a hold of the puck. The Islanders take it across the line. Fires it. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Our drones had the face-off dot ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Good job tangling up his opponent here. He was locked in there. Pokes the puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Moves it over to Shaw. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, it's so good. James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Made that stop. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. This power play group really has an opportunity to smell blood in the water. Now all I have to do is look at the body language of the fatigued goaltender right now, James. I mean, they've had puck possession. They've had the majority of it. And they found ways to move the puck and create opportunities. Now they just got to finish. Takes a shot and makes a save. A centering chance. And that doesn't connect. Slavin's almost ready to get back on the ice. Battle along the boards. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal. But I would say different. It's really important that you push. You continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. by Durando. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Toronto's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And that's knocked away. Feeds the puck over to Hutton. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Puck picked up by Hutton. Scooped up along the wall by Kubiak. Bridgeport's got the puck. Steps into the offensive end. Shot. Oh, what a bad save by Petrosilli. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he takes the pass. And he makes a save there. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Toronto's put up a lot of shots and so far plenty of scoring chances and yet they still trail here in the second. The Islanders win the defensive zone faceoff. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. From the point, looks to make something happen. Quick stop! Oh, he got all that pass saved by Skerritt. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Shaw's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain and leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Slides the puck over. And he handles the cross ice pass. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. The Islanders have it against the wall. Back to the point it goes. Here he is, shot and shot, scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or... Is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build off that last shift. The Marlies finally get some momentum going their way now. Can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back-to-back -to -back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Shaw. Grabs control of it at the point. 
from the top of the offensive zone here. Makes it look easy with the stop. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Here's another chance. It keeps it out again. And they skate it out of the danger zone. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Goes right to the crease. Here's the chance. And he's got that one. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Marlies need to start finishing on some of these chances here as we are now late in the second. Toronto's won the faceoff. Here he is in front! Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he scores! Well, without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot. Pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. Toronto's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off. When you get a goal, you can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Stones him in front. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age. Them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. defensive zone steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing and he's knocked off the puck there the Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end takes the pass handles the pass Bridgeport's looking to break out Ledoux's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air signaling penalty stopped by the goaltender and the play is whistled dead, and here's the call. Well, he's frustrated with this call, and he's going to argue it with the official, but guess what? It's going to be a call. It's not getting changed. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. When the power play isn't working, you have to adjust. you got to get net front presence, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And what it does is it also draws defensive coverage to you. More traffic in front, more lanes open for the shooter. Picked up along the wall by Clay Pula. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Gambrell swooping in on the attack. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Feeds the puck to Kogula. Quick shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. The Islanders power play continues to start the frame and they win the draw. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Oh, stick save and a butte. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Our Trolls looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Gains the zone through center. Pokes it away in his own end. Slick feed. And he takes the feed. Sends the pass over. 
The Marlies move to the offensive zone. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Lachois stick handling in his own zone. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's a shot! James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Bridgeport's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Scoops up the puck now. They go on the attack through center. Bridgeport's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. What a steal in his own end. Now a quick pass to Steves. Denies him! Skerritt's in a great position to be able to make that stop, James. That's in a high-scoring area. It's a threat. Great A, and he makes the stop. Toronto's been the better team but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. Newkirk's won a big draw on their own end. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Shot! Oh, he comes up with a big stop there. Looks to make a play over to Sevigny. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Durando. And that's knocked away by Clifford. Toronto's got it along the wall. Puck scooped up by Clifford. Here's a chance! Denies him in close. Great pressure with the stick. Newkirk's picking up steam. Bridgeport's got the puck along the wall. Let's it go! Oh, a clutch save! And the puck's kicked free. Toronto's gained possession. Clifford's gaining momentum. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Ellis has it along the boards. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Quick pass to Ledoux. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Puck grab by Dufour. Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Toronto's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Bridgeport's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. The Marlies gain control of the puck. Slides it diagonally to Shaw. Takes it at center. Takes a shot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And this is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Islanders win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Cuts into the paint, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. The Islanders win the draw. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Here's a shot that eyes on the play. Shaw's stick handling in his own zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes the puck at the point. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Salo's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Shot! What a stop 
but point blank range by Petrosilli. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And he takes the dish. And the puck skips away after that move. Let's get the call. Chalowski's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Toronto's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Steves looks around. Here's a shot. Fantastic save. The Islanders will kill off a few extra seconds now. The Marlies have it now. Hands it over on the attack. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Trying to clear. And they get the puck out of the zone, and it'll allow them to get some fresh legs out there. Well, shift management is everything, James, especially when you have one in your own zone. Now you can get fresh legs out there on the attack, and everyone can get a breather. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Steps across the blue line. The Marlies have the puck in the corner. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. While we have a moment, let's set it down rinkside with our own Carlin Bave. Ben Wass played a great game, and I really liked his finishing touch, guys. So based on that, I'm giving him the edge in our matchup tonight. Bridgeport's got the puck in the defensive end. The Islanders gain the zone. Fires it off. Scores! Wow, the excellence of execution on that one. Yeah, that's a beautiful one-timer, but what I like about it is that he's already said he knows exactly where the puck is coming, and he just wires it home. Bridgeport's performance tonight still showing no signs of let-off here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let-up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Puts it on there. Oh, slick work with the club by Petrosilli. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you got to find a way to get your glove on it. you got to be fast. you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Blandisi. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Knocked away. Shot inside. And he comes up big again. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Toronto's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Steps in and takes the puck. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Toronto's grabbed a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Shaw. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Shaw gets a piece of it to keep it out. From the back of the cage with the puck. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Taken along the wall by Blandisi. And he slides it quickly to Benoit. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. 
right up the gun into the attacking zone. Jabs the puck away. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Islanders are going to serve two for tripping here. The Marlies once again send out their power play unit. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an urge opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Skates to the crease. Here's a blast. Answers up with an even better save. Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Denied by the goaltender. The Islanders have possession shorthanded. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Toronto's got possession of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Fires it! Snags with the glove by Skerritt! Control side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he stopped that one. Fires one. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Skerritt's done the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been outstanding all game, James. The reason why his team is leading in this one. And elects to a good decision to get the face off. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Cuts to the front. Quick shot. Denies him. He got on it. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the job done. The Marlies come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. That's a great power play unit, James. And they're not going to feel great as they head off to the bench and it gets killed without the score. But they can keep their heads held high as they had a lot of execution. They found ways to get scoring the opportunities on net. Scooped up along the wall by Durando. Bridgeport's got the puck. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Oh, he just got it keep it out oh we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call the Marlies have definitely gone with the shoot first mentality tonight but they continue to trail late in this third period Shaw's won the faceoff so much time in practice working on D-zone faceoffs and this is exactly why coming off an icing you win it and you have the opportunity to get out and get a change and a huge by the goaltender at point-blank range. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Bridgeport's got the puck against the boards. Petroselli's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. Handles the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Change up, change up. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides it quickly to Hutton. Across the line from center. Grabbed along the board by Hutton. Puck grabbed by Gambrell. Takes a shot. Off the glove. Bridgeport's got the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Corbula. With possession along the wall. Here's a feed in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Covers it up. We'll go stoppage in play. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly.
Loop to Steves. Across the line along the left wall. Shot. Great blocker stop by Skerrick. Durando's got the puck in his own zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Marlies cross the line and gain the zone. Quick shot. Great save from in tight. And it's a quick pass to Benoit. Turns another aside. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Marlies coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances and we're running out of time late in the third. Redirected off a stick. Takes the feed at the point. And that carries off a stick. Taken by Ben Brown. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. The final seconds tick away. Listen to this place recognize a hard earned victory. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. The Marlies get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Ellis. There's a shot and not much on that one. He's a big stop just as time expires in the period. showed everybody it's okay to win out them sometimes, Cheryl. Winning ugly is still winning, James, and they were able to get it done. Yes, they were out match. I think they kind of lulled their opponent to sleep with that quick counter punch. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski wishing you a safe and healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon. Connor Bedard Best.